Louis Bunce uh, is arguably Oregon's major 20th century modern artist. Throughout his life, Louis Bunce was kind of Portland's main art link to New York. Uh, very much uh, an artist uh, on the scene in New York, uh, again in the 1940s, lots of exhibitions back there, uh, helped uh, Oregon artists get to know uh, important people in New York. Louis and Jackson Pollock were good buddies beginning in the Art Student League years. And I think the reason he always stayed in Portland, even though New York was a strong, strong lure for him, is that Portland was the gateway to Oregon. And the topography, the landscape, the, uh, the uh, terrain of Oregon was extremely inspirational to him, and he used it as the basis for abstract painting. Louis Bunce indeed was in conversation with everybody you can imagine. Georges Braque, Paul Clay, he actively sought out what he wanted to look at. He actively uh, got into a conversation with uh, work that he enjoyed and appreciated. He always painted it in his own way. There's nobody with a more skillful touch of the brush to the canvas or the panel than Louis Bunce. Uh, exquisite uh, painter, uh, and as I say, very much basing his imagery on his own home territory of Oregon. He was a very gregarious guy who hung out in bars and so forth, loved to talk to people of all types. And a lot of people who didn't know that much about art felt that they had a link to modernism because they knew Louis Bunce, had met him and chatted with him over a beer and so forth. He's very egalitarian and helped uh, soften the blow of modernism, if that's what it was. This is a study for the airport mural. The mural still exists at the Portland International Airport. And in 1958, the Port of Portland commissioned uh, Louis to paint a mural there. Somehow, some of the people at the port saw it ahead of time and rejected it out of hand. It just was an amazing uh, uproar, especially when it came to having it be in a semi-public place, uh, po possibly funded in part by public funds, modern art. Uh, 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 uh. One legislator actually uh, set forth a bill to ban modern art in Oregon. This was quickly pulled off the table since others realized it would make Oregon look remarkably idiotic if such a law passed. So I think that event, more than anything else, kind of embedded uh, into the Oregon psyche uh, some sensibility about modern art. The last uh, 10, uh, 12 years of his uh, career were tremendously experimental. He broke away from the modernist painting he'd been doing in the abstract expressionist mode earlier. He liked to dress well, be neat and tidy. He was a very trim uh, guy, and uh, George captures that. Some of the paintwork on the floor and elsewhere is done in a very delicate, uh, Buncean kind of way. Uh, and when you take a look at the real painting itself, you'll see that it's full of little references to Louis Bunce and his techniques as a painter. His last great set of works is a celebration, totally unleashed, uh, emotional celebration of uh, what he saw, felt, and experienced there on the coast. Never before has he been so radiantly um, entranced, I guess we could say, with the sheer drama of the coast. The colors, the shimmering light, uh, the kind of hallucinatory um, glow of it. Uh, I use the term romantic because really it's like uh, 19th century romanticism where the romantic voyager comes to the end of the journey. Here is what he or she has been searching for. Here it is. Here is the ultimate uh, um, experience of nature, of life, of the sea. Um, and of course, as we know now, uh, it wasn't long before Louis Bunce did pass off the scene.